Good morning, all. It's the Devious Monkey here, and it is Monday morning. We've had breakfast, now begrudgingly. We have dressed ourselves, and we are going to go grocery shopping, amongst other things. So, look who's here, and I bet you she's smiling and happy. <laughs> yeah. We'll get to see this very much longer. Probably at least another two months because we're lazy and we'll never take it down. I like our tree. <laughs> she digs it. Okay, so let's go do stuff. All right, kids. So busy day. We went to three places. I decided that we should go to Harris Teeter first because they always have the, like, the better selection of coffee and coffee products. And it's usually on sale. They did not disappoint. We bought almost a hundred bucks worth of coffee products. Yeah, isn't that insane? Anywho, so then I decided that, you know what? I'm not gonna drive all over Timbuktu and do a bunch of dumb shit. I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna do day job stuff. I'm really glad that I started doing it because holy shit, I've got a lot to do before I leave. And I didn't realize it because I thought that the stuff that I'm gonna have to do now, I thought I already did it for like my entire territory, but I only did it for the first two routes because there's the only two that I took. So now I need to sit down and I'm gonna actually sit down and do all of them right now. I'm heading out to get Bean and I'm kind of bummed because I was hoping that my boots would have already been delivered. They were supposed to have been delivered today and it's shown out for delivery since 6.30 this morning. Last week, I basically shot video every day, Monday through Friday into Saturday, and Saturday is when I posted the video that gave a little bit of blurb every week. Oddly enough, that's getting just as many views as, and probably more than when I was just daily posting. So I don't know, I might be onto something there, in which case instead of posting every day, which I've already said I can't do, uh, I might just have to start going to once a week. I reached out to a friend from college that lives in the Charlotte area and we're gonna meet up. Don't know what or when or when or how or and all that kind of stuff. I kind of left that to her, you know, and I was like, just make it convenient for yourself, whatever. And, you know, how much more can I possibly drive? It's not that big of a deal. Hopefully I get to see her. I haven't seen her for years, probably decades. It's probably been like 20 years since I've seen her. All right, enough blathering. Let's just go get some bean and then go back and slave on day job work on a holiday day off. Wah. Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. All right, it's Tuesday morning. I'm in my usual line at Starbucks. I do have a little bit of time, although it's moving really slow today, despite the fact that there aren't that many people in line. But more importantly, I wanted to top up all my batteries. So my phones were plugged in last night, my headsets were plugged in, and everything for this camera setup was the camera, the you know the microphone system and all that shit the mics are 100 percent the camera's at 17 and and dropping steadily i don't understand how that happened i had it plugged in all night basically i'm not going to be recording anything until uh i top this battery up all right let's hit the road Whew, okay kids it is 10 o'clock it's been a long day uh, i left virginia beach this morning at eight had my first meeting at one ish and had two more meetings after that. Then I went and met a friend from college. So we met up at this place and had dinner and, and caught up as much as we could. I mean, 30 years in, in a couple hours is a little bit much to ask, but I was really happy to, to catch up with her. Uh, she was a wonderful person in my past and hopefully now she will be in the future. So yeah, it was great. Uh, I also had to uh, do some work day job stuff, which I just did and now it's 10 o'clock, like I said, and I I need to shower and frickin' unwind, and then I gotta get up tomorrow, and I got a shit ton of meetings. I have eight meetings tomorrow, so it's gonna be a long day. Life on the road, man. Okay, enough whining. I am totally ready to go chode out on this couch and just frickin' relax and, and eventually go to sleep, so we'll catch up tomorrow. Okay, kids, barreling right along. I still have two meetings to go. Let's go do those last two meetings. And then I can relax tonight, kind of, then just get up whenever the hell I want tomorrow and drive back to Virginia Beach at my leisure. And it should be under four hours, which I'm happy about. So, all right, let's get to it. Good morning, all. It is Thursday morning, about five to 10. Already left the hotel and I actually went to a first watch, which was just down the block and had breakfast. Much to my happiness, 
I only have two hours and 56 minutes. So like a three hour drive. I was thinking it was more like four. Imagine my surprise when I turned on the old app to get the directions home and it said that I only had like three hours. You know how it's been lately. By the time I get home, I am dying to get out of this freaking forerunner. Today will be no different. By the time I get home today, like I don't have a choice because I have to do shit in a certain time frame. I'm gonna have to do day job work tonight until, you know, until like eight o'clock when, when I'm forced myself to stop. That doesn't leave a lot of time these days for my personal interests, such as going out and taking pictures. Now, my boss has point blank told me, dude, don't let this job overwhelm you. If you start to get to that point where you're like stressed out and overwhelmed, just stop, take the day off, grab your cameras, go out, take some pictures, you know, relax. I think it would stress me out more to take an entire day of not doing anything than it would to just do the stuff. And that's just because I put this pressure on myself to, to get shit done. Okay, so yeah, two hours and 43 minutes. I'm just gonna, oh man, I didn't notice if there was an accident on that side, but holy shit, that's, now that I'm paying attention, that's a hell of a backup. This is gonna be miles worth of backup. Glad I'm not on that side and hopefully nothing happens on this side either. All right, so I'm gonna either listen to the rest of this audio book or I don't know, listen to some videos or scream sing or whatever, but you know, if anything interesting happens, I'll get back. Well, kids, I'm finally home and I have eaten a late lunch and I have relaxed and also I got my boots and I've also just fallen over. So I had enough of sitting inside, I'm going to go for a walk or something. I just need to break these boots in because they're slippery as shit and nobody needs that. I also have a zit right there on my neck fat. So that's attractive. But for now, let's go do something other than sit inside because I'm going to be doing that all day tomorrow. Okay, that's enough. I don't feel like holding this anymore. Good morning, all. It's the Devious Monkey and queen yes believe it or not we are up dressed and out the door and it's only 9 15. but that's because today is the first vb flea of the new year and also she wanted breakfast at pink dinghy so we made a reservation and we're gonna hopefully drive down there and not have too much of a problem and meaning not having to park 10 blocks away and we're going to go have breakfast and we're going to walk around VB Flea and I'm going to film doggies, hopefully. And yeah, we're going to have a grand old time this Saturday morning. She's thinking that they don't have coffee and we're like, ugh. I feel like I remember that. Um, so we're probably going to have to immediately go next door after we're done eating and getting coffee at three ships in order to function properly because I'm already in a, my typical morning mind fog. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Okay, that was a lot of fun. I didn't get to see as many doggies, but that's okay. And the other thing is that with this 10 to 20, uh, I'm kind of like too far away compared to what I usually do. So whatever. Anyways, we had a good breakfast. They did serve coffee. So now I'm ready to burst because I've had so much coffee and fluid and what have you. So whatever we do next, it's going to have to involve going to the bathroom first. All right. That was the beginning of our Saturday fun. Don't know what we're going to do next, but uh, we'll find out. Okay, kids, so it's been a heck of a week. It's all come together today with a beautiful Saturday. We went to VB Flea, the first of the year, and then I actually went out to Pleasure House Point because by the time we came back from VB Flea, it was so early that I felt like it would have been criminal of me not to go out on such a nice day. So I did go out. I got a ton of pictures. However, most of them sucked. I, I got a bunch of pictures of a great blue heron and another bird that was like way in the branches below it, which was fine, but I didn't want to just post another great blue heron picture. So I was in search of other birds. 
but it doesn't matter because I did enjoy myself, as always, walking through Pleasure House Point. And then I stopped and got us lunch, pretty much just finished eating lunch, like a late lunch. And now I'm settling in for Saturday. I got Sven Gulli in three hours. So I thought it'd be a good time to start doing this now. So that's all I've got for you. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.